ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton. Yep. So uh, certainly that to remember, but also we still have to talk about coronavirus because yep. there are upticks in new coronavirus cases in at least 30 states throughout the Northeast and the Midwest. Boston now hovering in the red zone. It's been forced to actually pause its reopening plan. So we are tracking the latest COVID numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Now more than 34 million diagnosed cases of coronavirus worldwide with more than 1 million deaths globally. And here at home, here in the U.S., the pandemic has taken more than 206,000 lives. And Doc, so much emphasis is on new cases. Yep. But there are some old cases that linger. This idea of these long haulers, people that it's, it's almost like a, so somebody say, it's like COVID is a house guest that won't leave, yeah. right? You don't ever get over it. What do we know about these folks who just have symptoms that persist? And this is really the post viral syndrome, that long hauler. Here's what we know at this point. It is estimated to affect 10% of COVID-19 infections. Um, and those are people who then go on to experience prolonged symptoms lasting weeks or even months. We don't know the cause. It really is a mystery, but it may involve the autonomic nervous system or the blood vessel lining that's called the endothelium. Some of these patients though complicating statistical data collection were never actually tested for COVID-19. Mm. So it's hard to get a grasp on the number, but you guys, the common symptoms, cough, impaired memory, extreme fatigue, this is debilitating and there are a lot of people suffering with wow, this. Wow, with no end in sight. So have there been any breakthroughs yet and any sort of treatment for these folks? Unfortunately, not yet because we don't understand the cause. So right now treatment is aimed at the symptoms, kind of a band-aid, but the key you guys is that a lot of people's symptoms are not even taken seriously, unfortunately, by the medical community. So the first step is awareness and recognition. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.